does it tell you that heaven will be on earth? Well, it's, it's uh, right in the great book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter 21, we are told how it will be in the eternity and where heaven will be. <laughs> All right. Let's examine that. All right. So let me go back. We're going to listen to that again. That heaven will be on earth. Well, it's, it's uh, right in the great book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter 21, we are told how it will be in the eternity and where heaven will be. We are told many other places in the word of God, but I'll pick that particular place where it says this earth a this earth is rejuvenated not not totally new um, so the bible can't be trusted it just cannot be trusted we have to depend on Arnold Murray to explain things for us, right? I guess, right? I guess we need Arnold Murray to teach us. All right. Not totally new. Not totally new. Put back in the condition that it was like true north will be magnetic north. Oh. Okay. There will be no more wobbles. All right. No, okay. No more jet streams, but No, no, okay. Cuz the firmament will go back where it originally was. Firmament will go back where it originally was before it fell. Well, crud. crud. How in the world? Well, I guess there's only 15 mentions, so let's look. God said, Let there be firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament. Alright, so God made the firmament and then it fell. Let's see where it fell. Where did the firmament fall? And the heavens declare the glory of God. I mean, right here in verse in Genesis 1, it doesn't fall. And in the six day creation, it doesn't fall. And so if, if it fell, it has to be. It has to be after that because it was created on the second day. Right? I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> Let's see. And God, after the first day, God made the firmament and God called the firmament heaven. And evening and the morning were the second day. Alright, so Psalm 19, heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. Praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his 
power and the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature and under the firmament were the wings straight and there was a voice from the firmament and above the firmament then I looked and behold in the firmament all right now in Daniel and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament I, I, I don't know what the world he the firmament will go back where it originally was before it fell I have no idea what he's talking about no more wobbles no more jet streams because the firmament will go back where it originally was before it fell and created oceans and so and created oceans well, hold on a second now. What in the world is he talking about? For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that in them is I can't even begin all right if you're watching explain to me so that I might understand what in the he double hockey sticks this guy's talking about so Planet. What planet? Them also that burned incense unto Baal, and to the sun, to the moon, and to the planets. You know the context of this, right? If you know the context, you know it's this ain't a good thing here. All right, this these are not the good guys. Alright. <laughs> and he put down the I idolatrous priest that burned incense unto Baal Baal to the sun to the moon and to the planets and to all the host of heaven because we are filtered by that firmament and in spirit filtered Filtered by that firmament. Filtered. Filt I, I don't know what in the world is he talking about. Filtered. We're filtered. We are filtered by that. Oh, I thought he said, excuse me, I misheard him. He said it. Filtered by the firmament. Um, I don't know where he's getting that from. So, in other words, Jesus Christ died and resurrected in vain. He rebuilt the temple. See, this is the kind of stuff, when you make Jesus, or make the Messiah the Antichrist in Daniel 9, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to come up with. Alright, now listen. The prophecy of the 70 weeks, 
was fulfilled. Jesus is the one that made an end of sins. He's the one that confirmed the covenant. He's the one that laid down his life. And he's the one that brings it back up. Okay. In John chapter 2. Um, it's so beautiful because it, this is what's going on even today. Jesus said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. He's talking about his body. But you got people like this that don't believe Jesus destroyed the temple. And they come up with all kinds of crazy stuff. Like the firmament filtering the aging process. <laughs> what in the world is this, man? Jesus rebuilt the temple. It doesn't matter the firmament. We could be wherever. When we are resurrected, we have eternal life. At, not because of the firmament filtering out the aging process. This is comic book stuff, man. We have eternal life because Jesus rebuilt this temple, this body that we live in. And in spiritual bodies, there's no age or anything anyway. But it lets you know between verses 20 and 24 of Revelation 21 that heaven is right here on earth. All right, let's look. Uh, 21, 20 through 24, between verses 20 and 24 of Revelation 21. <sighs> Am I in Revelation 21? All right. The fifth Sardonyx, the sixth Sardius, the seventh Chrysolite, the eighth Burl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth, a chrysoprasus, like the eleventh, a jacinth. I can't say these words, man. All right, so all right, let's go to the next verse. I'm not seeing whatever it is that he's seeing. Okay, I'm just not. I'm, I must be dumb. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof, and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. I'm go back. He's saying... I don't know what he's saying, honestly. I don't. Let's go back here. Between verses 20 and 24 of Revelation 21, that heaven is right here on earth. It doesn't say it, man. It does not say that at all. That heaven is on earth. It's not. It says there's a new heaven and a new earth it says the holy city new jerusalem comes down from god out of heaven that's the new city it's not heaven comes down out of heaven um i, I can't begin can't begin to comprehend what in the world this guy's talking about. This is why also in Ezekiel chapter 16 that God made an everlasting eternal covenant with Mount Zion, with 
Jerusalem. It is his most favorite spot. It's his most favorite spot. New Jerusalem is in heaven. It's not on earth. It comes down out of heaven onto the earth, onto the new earth. It's not over there right now. Unless you think the Bible's lying. Spot not only in the universe, but on the earth. And that the universe. Whew. That's where he will set his headquarters. Headquarters. Headquarters? There you got it. Okay. All right. Well, what, I don't know what the heck he just said, but there you got it. There you got it, man. He, he didn't really say anything at all that lined up with scripture. Did he?